Hello my dear friends, welcome to the YouTube channel Math Skill. In this session, let's try to find out cube root of 2023 by long division method. Let us see how to do that. Let's note down 2023 to start the long division method. There are certain prerequisites in order to solve this problem by long division method. That is, the digits of the number 2023 has to be rearranged in groups of three numbers starting with the units place. That is, 2023 is to be rearranged in groups of three digits with 023 as the first group followed by only one digit in the next group that is number 2023 would be rearranged as 2 followed by 023 along with the decimal. After decimal, the 0 should be considered in group of 3 digits that is 3 zeros at a time. This is the first step. Second step is to start the long division method from the left hand side. That is, we will have to start the long division method like normal division from left side with starting with the group which is on the left hand side since the first group contains only one digit that is number two we will have to start with this digit this is a step number two now how to consider the numbers is we will have to consider the perfect cubes first we will have to consider a number in such a way that the cube of this num of this number is either less than or equal to the first group that is, since it is number 2 here, which is a group on the left hand side. So, 1 cube is 1. Even if we consider 2 cube, which is 8, 8 is more than 2. So, 2 cannot be considered. That is, we will have to start with 1 cube as 1. That is, the first number in the quotient will be 1. That is, 1 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Now, in order to proceed, let us take the first group of three digits that is 0, 2, 3 down to make the remainder as 1 followed by 0, 2, 3 that is 1023. Before selecting the next number in the quotient as a process, we will have to add the same number what we have latest considered in the quotient two times to make this as 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3. In order to select the next number in the quotient, let us take 1023 and neglect the last two digits. That is, neglecting the last two digits of 1023, it would be number 10. 10 should be divided by 3 multiplied by 1, which is 10 divided by 3 or 3.33. So, the next number in the quotient can be considered as number 3. Whether this assumption is correct or not, let us see and verify. So, how to verify? The number here which is 3 and also the next number in the quotient should be joined to make it as a two digit number that is 33. And consider the same number being considered as the next number in the quotient twice that is 3 and 3. And three. To this, we will have to multiply 1 followed by 2 zeros that is 1 which is in the quotient followed by two digits which we had neglected that is to make it as 100 that is the digits of the number here that is 3 and 3 should be split and should be multiplied along with the 100 that is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 100 is 3 3 is a 9 multiplied by 100 is 900 also multiply these three digits That is 33 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. That is 33 multiplied by 3 by 3 is 33 by 9, which is 297. Add these two digits 900 and 297. That is, we would be getting 1197, which is more than 1023. Therefore, the next number in the quotient cannot be considered as 3. Now, let us go one step behind 
to take the next number in the quotient as 2. So how to verify whether number 2 which is going to be considered is correct or not? Let us verify again. That is take this 2 and make it as a pair with this number so that it becomes 32. So again consider 2 twice to which the number in the quotient should be proceeded with two zeros what we had neglected and we will have to multiply 3 into 2 into 100 that is 3 to the 6 multiplied by 100 is 600 and multiply these three digits that is 32 multiplied by 2 by 2 so 32 by 2 by 2 is 32 by 4 or answer is 128 therefore adding these two numbers we would be getting 728 which is less than 1023 therefore it can be considered that is number 2 can be considered as the next digit in the quotient considering number 2 as the next digit in the quotient so we would be getting 728 here subtracting 728 with 1023 we would be ending up with 295 before proceeding we will have to add the same number number 2 which is the latest number in the quotient two times to 32 to make it as 32 plus 2 is 34 plus 2 is 36 even if we consider next digit in the quotient as 1 so 361 into 1 which would be more than 295 so it cannot be considered that is we will have to consider a decimal point now that is considering the decimal point and taking the next three digits which is next three zeros down so the number in the remainder would now become 295 followed by three zeros that is 295 in order to select what is the next number so what we have to do now is we will have to follow a procedure that is we will have to neglect the last two digits of this number 2,95,000 to make it as a four digit number here to which we will have to start the doing the verification that is neglecting the last two digits of 2,95,000 the number would be 2,950 to this number we will have to divide 36 multiplied by 12 that is 2950 divided by 36 into 12 would be 2950 divided by 432 or it is approximately 6.82 so the next digit in the quotient should be considered as number 6 let us do verification whether this assumption is correct or not that is Take the number 36 here to which we have selected the next digit as 6 make this as a 3 digit number again considering 6 twice also to which we will have to multiply 12 in the quotient followed by two zeros to make it as 1200 that is 36 multiplied by 6 into 1200 which is 259200 also we will have to multiply these three digits that is 366 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6 which is 13,176 adding these two numbers we would be getting 2,72,376 which is less than 2,95,000 also very nearer to 2,95,000 therefore 6 can be considered as the next digit in the quotient let us take 6 as the next digit in the quotient therefore 36 also becomes 3 digit number that is 366 now to which 2,72,376 will be subtracted upon subtraction we are getting 22,624 to this number again we will have to take the next pair or next group of zeros that is upon taking 
the next group of zeros down it would be 2 to 6 to 4 followed by three zeros that is 2 crores 26 lakhs 24,000 now how to consider the next digit in the quotient is take this number 2 to 6 to 4 followed by three zeros and neglect the last two digits that is also we will have to add the digit considered in the quotient two times that is 366 plus 6 plus 6 it would be 378 now how to assess what is the next number in the quotient take this number and then neglect the last two zeros that is it would be 2 to 6 to 4 followed by a 0 to this number divide it with 378 multiplied by 126 it would be 2 to 6 to 4 0 divided by 47,628 that is approximately 4 point something so the next digit in the quotient would be considered as number 4 so whether this assumption is right or not let us check by following the procedure so how to check now take the number 378 which is a three digit number and make it as a four digit number by taking four in the units place that is 378 would now become 3784 that is 3784 again take four two times now to which it has to be multiplied with one two six followed by two zeros that is 378 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 12600 which is 1905120 that is 1 crore 90 lakh 51200 also we will have to multiply the three digits here that is 3784 that is 3784 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 upon multiplying these three digits so we would be getting 60,544 upon adding these two numbers we would be getting 1911774 that is 1 crore 91 lakh 11,744 because this is less than 2 crore 26 lakhs 24,000 and also nearer therefore 4 can be considered as the next digit in the quotient that is let us conclude this because it is less than therefore 4 can be considered as the next digit in the quotient cube root of 2023 is 12.64 thanks for watching the video take care